Philip Yoon, Executive Director of the Plowshares Fund, joins us now from San Francisco. Uh, Philip, good to speak with you. Um, with China now at odds with the US and South Korea, is that a rift which you would expect North Korea to exploit? Uh, yes, of course. Uh, you know, we right now what has happened is that China actually has done what the United States wanted to do. They announced earlier this month a complete ban on coal imports from North Korea. Now, that's huge. That represents over 50 percent of North Korea's foreign exchange. And in one moment, uh, in one decision, China essentially has given away a huge amount of leverage, which in the past it has used sort of sparingly and in slices. So essentially what they've told the United States was saying, look, we've done what you wanted to do. The ball is in your court. You've got to solve this problem on your own. And essentially they're saying is that if you don't, we're going to step in. So you can bet that North Korea is going to exploit those differences. That's something that they've always done and will continue to do. Well, what are the reasons for this tougher line coming out of the United States? Uh, according to a spokesman for the U.S. State Department, it's being driven by North Korea's improved military capability. Listen to Mark Toner here. We are very concerned with the escalation, the continuing testing uh, and augmenting of its, uh, of its weapons program uh, is of great concern. Um, and it's getting to the point where uh, we, need to do, we do need to look at other alternatives. So what are those other alternatives? Because they've tried sanctions, they've tried negotiations, which have clearly failed so far. Well, that, that's the thing. I, I don't know uh, exactly what they're referring to, but realistically, the only path we have, um, in this case, I think the Chinese are right, is really a political one. We're not going to basically allow North Korea to have a uh, acquiesce and say you can have uh, a small nuclear arsenal, which they are on track to do within the five five to ten years capable of hitting the United States. Uh, and right now, the same policies that we're using, which are sanctions and denunciations, they're not leading to anything. And the only alternative then, in a sense, is to uh, use force. And force will uh, is something that would um, it would be very dangerous. I mean, it would create um, hundreds of thousands of casualties uh, uh, potentially uh, in on the Korean Peninsula with a with a new war, with another Korean war. So essentially, the only alternative that we have is really to have some kind of uh, negotiation. Um, there is talk about a preemptive strike or a strike on North Korean missile capabilities. Uh, that was something that was advocated in 2006. Uh, but again, I think that's just a non-starter. I mean, that really risks highly has a high risk that we're going to start another war. We've got uh, the North has got 14,000 artillery tubes pointing at Seoul less than 50 miles away, a metropolitan area of 25 million people. You can imagine the kind of damage that would uh, would, would in, uh, inflict on, on the South Koreans. So I think when push hard. comes to shove, yeah. they're not going to say sorry. they're going to do that. You're pretty hard hitting the uh, preemptive strike on mobile missile launches as well. Very quickly, New York Times reported over the weekend that President Obama ordered a cyber attack on the North Missile Program, essentially derailed it for a time. Uh, but given the successful launches that we've seen, uh, is that tactic no longer effective? Well, I, this is something that I assumed that they were going to do. And in fact, that given what they did with uh, Stuxnet and Iran, that was something I assumed that they would be doing. It's a Band-Aid. It's temporary. There is the larger issue that eventually they will figure it out. And as you have said, uh, their capabilities have continued to improve. And uh, we're, uh, we're in for a bumpy ride. Bumpy ride. Okay, Philip, as always, thanks so much. Appreciate it. Thank you.